<laughs> What's good, YouTube? Your boy Scott Joy here, and I'm hitting you with some tips and tricks and pro tools. So stuff that you might know, some things that you might not know. But if I mean, you can take something away from this video. It might be old to it. You might. I mean, it's just it's a lot of stuff. Like you can always learn something new, all right? The first thing is um, YouTube beats or just beats from FL in general because a lot of these beats have dead space in front so you need to be able to cut the dead space out the beat to line the tempo up right so what you want to do you want to go to the beat find it you know see how i got all that dead space don't need that so we're just gonna zoom in and you want to switch to shuffle mode right and you want to kind of like zoom in find where it starts so it starts there just break that find like where everything starts so you kind of want to go in and just gonna take some time and practice all right so now it should be good now. all right we gotta get a click track <laughs> beat that's how you do it it's just like that a lot of people they don't know how to activate quick punch and i'm gonna show you how to do it like i have it activated so what you want to do you just want to go up let me turn this reverb off all right so what you want to do man let me turn this reverb so look activating quick punch is real easy man you just want to go up and you just want to right click and then like it's on normal like you don't want it on it and boom quick punch and same thing for this you can play half speed that's gonna play everything back half speed. All right, so that'll play half speed. You can loop it. Learn how to set the tempo the correct way. And I'm gonna show you because a lot of people overlook this part right here. They don't even worry about the tempo. The tempo defaults to 120, all right? The session tempo needs to be the right tempo to change what the beat is, all right? And you wanna turn the conductor off. Up here, you see this right here, the man up here. You need to turn the conductor off. See, all right, the tempo is 83, so it's going to be right. So you want the tempo to be the same as the beat because the reverb needs to be on time. The delays need to be on time. So 120 BPM isn't 160 BPM, all right? Or 140 isn't 70 and vice versa, all right? Just understand that, all right? This is one right here. You want to learn how to organize plugins. So to organize the plugins, you want to go to Pro Tools and you want to go down and you want to click on Preferences, right? And when you click on preferences, you want to go in the basics window right here. And then you want to see down here where it says organize plugin menus by. So you click on it. You can be like flat list, category, manufacturer, manufacturer. And I got category and manufact and manufacturer, right? So what that looks like is this right here. So every time I go to click in, I get my category here then I got who made it right so if I just want to go to Waze plugins I know exactly go to Waze and all my Waze plugins are here and Tara is all of them here like native instruments all of them there sound toys everything's there right you see the beat track is blue or navy blue and this is like a red color I don't like that so what I like to do I like to put it on track color so with me putting it on track color hitting okay it changes the file to blue so everything is going to be color coded in my session because i can know like if all my vocals are yellow those are vocals if the main vocals like i could be like all my main vocals are yellow all my back end vocals are orange and my ad libs are purple so i know which ones i'm looking at off rip you know kind of like figure out what's something that works for you let's say we got a full song and i want to have the bounce the same every time Right, so all I want to do is want to go up here, you want to click on that, and you want to go to new memory location, and you want to go to selection, and you want to go to absolute, and you be like bounce, right? So once you go to bounce, it's going to be the song every time. So let's say like if I want to bounce the song out, like I had to do revisions and revisions, or if I just want to bounce out, bounce it out, every time you just click on it, it's going to highlight everything that was selected. You got to select everything first, then once you save it, it's going to... I always go back and highlight everything that was selected all right and also if you was making markers you just go in there and do the same thing but you put a marker let's be like okay go here and we put a marker here and it's like put a marker be like um bridge boom and we know that's the bridge so now we can jump back and forth around the song a lot faster 
this goes for vocals that's in stereo or beats or instrument or track outs and stuff that's in stereo and you want to make it mono. I'm gonna show you two ways you can do it. One way is this. See, I got two. Um, let's say I got two tracks right here. It's two, it's two ways to do it. See, I got this track right here. This stereo. If I want to make it mono, boom. I just made it mono. Let's say if I want to delete that, boom. It's just mono, just like that, real quick. Or let's say you got two tracks like this that are mono, you want to make them one, and you got a stereo track, all you do is, boom, you got a stereo track just like that, or you just go up here to the beat, all right, you want to right click, you want to right click on the beat, split the mono, then you want to kind of observe which one you want, so you still always have that, you can mute that, then choose which one you want, you want to put it like this, boom, it's in the middle, and here we go, we got one mono beat. Alright. Finna show y'all something cool right here. Finna show you something cool right here. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Record me, Fiend. She not fucking with you, nigga. They say you'll never get her. They say. Say we want to print this with auto tune only without having to export it and re-import it. All right. So let's say. All right. So this is how we do it. We're gonna do it like this. We just gonna. You wanna go up and go out of your track and be like, let's say lead lead hook part one. All right. So we got out of your track, right? So now what we gonna do now? We're just gonna hit. We just gonna hit record on this, right? So here we go. So now this is gonna record into this track here. So here we go. They say you would never get it. They say you would never get it. She not fucking with your nigga. They say you would never get it. Alright, so there we have that. So now let's play it back and see what we got. They say you would never get her. They say you would never get her. She not fucking with your nigga. They say you would never get her. Alright, that's a cool trick. It's just missing the reverb. So all you do is put a reverb down. So here we go now. We can play it both. Like you can do this for blending like a hook. Making a hook fully without having to use plugins to pan everything out because you made a stereo duplicate of the lead, right? Consolidate this, right? Like, it's this thing called consolidate clip, right? You put them all together. We could do that, but let's say we had automation in here, right? Let's say we, we had some automation in here. Let's say we had, all right. Let's see, let's automate something real quick. So we can record automation into one track. Like if we want to make this one level track, let's say we're gonna make that like loud for no reason, bring that all the way down for no reason, and just make that loud. Same thing for this, like bring that low, and just make that like loud. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do it again. So we're gonna send it back to the lead hook part one. We're gonna make one full vocal track, right? So here we go. Real easy, man. It's a little trick to save you some. Like, it's a little quick trick to do. And when, when you do it, people gonna be like, What? How'd you do that? Da 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 da. Real yeah. easy, man. Yeah, yeah. Easy. That's how you can record audio over, you know, it's real easy, man. That's how you can make anything in a stereo or you can make it stereo in the mono. This thing, the most important thing that a lot of people get confused on is how to bounce the song. So when you bounce the song, it's a shortcut to that. So I don't never do it. All right. So let's say we bounce in this song. This is what we get, right? You want the bounce source to be the main output, right? 
right? You got your file types. If you choose WAV, I always add MP3, right? Format, you don't want to go to mono summed. You don't want to go to multiple mono unless that's what you are needing. You want to go to interleave. That's what you need to have it on, all right? Sample rate, if you record it at 44.1, you need it there. If you record it at 48, you need it there. Record it at whatever you record it at, you need to bounce it at that sample rate, all right? You can change the bit if you want to, all right? So when you click on bounce, right, you're going to click on bounce. That's when you get to this right here. You want to choose the highest quality possible, right? You want to go to 320, choose the highest. Encoding speed, you want to go to the highest quality possible because you're going to lose some when you bounce. So you want to go to the highest quality possible. Then you fill in your tags, whatever, the genre, creator, whatever. Like, you don't want to touch none of that. You just want to go and just choose what you want to choose, man. And it's just that simple. You choose OK, choose where you want to save it, and that's it, man. But that's my Pro Tools Tips and Tricks video starting off. I'm bad with more videos like this, but if you learned something from this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below, and let me know what you need help with. And uh, yeah, man, I'll see you in another video, all right?